We are obsessed with sharks. We dedicate a whole week to them every year. They're fascinating creatures with tremendous appetites. A variety of strange things have been found in shark bellies. From other apex predators to poisonous animals that kill everything else, here are 10 of the craziest things ever swallowed by sharks. Number 10. A whole person. The idea of a shark attacking a human is not odd in the slightest. If they smell even the slightest drop of blood, they hungrily swim in the direction it came from. But the act of truly eating a human and doing so in a complete and whole fashion is a bit odd. You'd think the person the shark ate would no doubt be torn to pieces by the powerful predator. Attacks do happen, but rarely are humans what sharks really want to eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They usually prefer smaller fish. One major exception to this rule, though, was Sam Kellett. He was a 28-year-old teacher diving and spearfishing in Southern Australia in 2014. He was with some friends doing his thing when suddenly a great white shark came from below and swallowed him whole. No, not figuratively swallowed him whole. It literally swallowed him whole. So much so that the only things found from Sam after the attack were his diving weights and his spear gun. Think about it. That's a very atypical kind of shark attack move because, again, sharks don't actively search for people to eat. They'll attack surfers sometimes because the splashing makes them think they might be a tasty seal, but eating them whole like this really is not that common, despite what Jaws has led us to believe. Adelaide now reported witness Aaron Whittaker as saying he was swimming on the surface when he heard his friend Wyatt Raymout yell out to him. I turned around and saw the tail of a shark come out of the water and it was thrashing around, he said. I put my face under the water to see the shark, but I couldn't. All of a sudden, a white pointer shark came out of the murky water vertically towards the surface, just behind me, and almost launched itself out of the water. Police divers were unable to recover the body. Well, I mean, they would have to recover the shark first. Sam's family didn't want the shark hunted down or killed, nor any other sharks in the area. They knew that Sam had great respect for the ocean. He knew he was a visitor in their backyard, and the last thing he would want is for this shark, or any other, to be hunted down, they said in a statement released by South Australian police. Corny shark joke? What did one shark say to the other after eating a clownfish? Not only does it look funny, but it tastes funny too. Number nine, dogs. Most dogs love the beach. I mean, mine don't, but most do. And sharks don't eat dogs regularly. I mean, how could they? One is a sea creature and man's best friend, usually stay on land with their human. However, in Australia, which is hailed as having some of the deadliest waters in the world, dog owners need to be much more careful with their doggies when hanging out in the waters of the coast because the sharks here are known to go after the dogs. In his 1958 book, Shark Attack, Sir Victor Coppelson recalls the discovery of the head and forelegs of a bulldog, complete with a rope around its neck and the stomach of a tiger shark captured in Sydney Harbor. Not the best thing to find in a shark's stomach, but why would sharks go after dogs? This would be because of their classic swimming move, the dog paddle. Sharks take this as a sign that whatever is splashing around like that is prey, and that prey is weak, as fish that are injured are known to splash and cause vibrations that attract the sharks in question. So the dog paddling through the waters lures the shark to them unintentionally. So if you're with your dog on a beach in Australia, keep them on a leash. Number eight, a human arm. In 1935, two brothers decided to go fishing off the coast of Australia. Lots of these stories are from down under. Yeah, mate? The boys fell asleep on their boat with their lines still cast. When they awoke, they found their fishing line frayed. When the brothers reeled in their lines, they were shocked to discover their catch, a live tiger shark. They took the shark ashore, thinking it may die along the way, but it was still thrashing around violently, and they had no choice but to donate it to a nearby aquarium. About a week later, aquarium workers were in awe when the shark did something that they really didn't see coming. It vomited up a human arm, for real. On the surface, this doesn't seem so odd. After all, tiger sharks have attacked humans before, and so one ripping off an arm for a snack isn't that uncommon. Not in this case, though. Examination of the regurgitated arm found that the victim was most likely 
not at the bottom of Davy Jones' locker, as investigators would discover that the arm was actually severed by a serrated knife, and a unique tattoo on the lost arm was able to be identified and tied to the death of a former boxer turned police informant, Jim Smith. He made the poor choice to blackmail the wrong people and was unfortunately murdered because of it. The arm was kept as proof of the deed, and then once done, the killers disposed of the evidence by throwing it into the ocean. This arm actually helped solve the mystery of Smith's death, and it's all because that felonious fin buster threw up at the perfect time. How much does it cost to swim with sharks? An arm and a leg. Number seven, cows. Sharks have been shown to have the capacity to eat just about anything and everything they set their minds and eyes to. However, there are few creatures that you would likely not expect a shark to eat, a cow for example. But guess what? Not only did a shark eat a cow, but it did so while being 500 meters away from the nearest shore. There were divers that were exploring the water and filming sharks, and they just so happened to witness a once-in-a-lifetime visual as sharks were in a feeding frenzy, devouring a whole horned zebu cow while in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Holy cow! So, obviously, the big question here is, how did a horned zebu cow get into the middle of the Indian Ocean and into the jaws of these powerful predators? The answer is surprisingly simple. The cow was a passenger on a boat voyaging across the ocean. The cow somehow fell off and, no doubt, splashed around before starting to sink. The sharks saw an opportunity for an easy meal. At that moment, the sharks were thinking, beef, it's what's for dinner. Dun dun dun. Hey, real fast. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number six, crocodiles. Sharks are no doubt apex predators for a variety of reasons. So are crocodiles. They're both powerful beasts. There isn't a lot that can get in their way. And if something isn't their way, well, you know what happens. With crocodiles, they're able to roam waters both fresh and salty. These two creatures happen to run into each other more often than you would think. And when that happens, as you can imagine, the collide can get pretty violent. In 2013, in South Africa, the head of a massive crocodile randomly washed up on the beach. It was later determined that it had been ripped off by a great white shark. It must have been quite a fight. There are some crocs that can match the lengths of great whites. It should be noted that when these altercations occur, sharks usually end up on the losing side of the battle. There's the tale of the legendary croc known as Brutus, who was so incredibly strong that he was able to kill a bull shark without much issue, and he snacked on it for the rest of the day. Ready for another corny shark joke? A shark, crocodile, and a giant spider walk into a bar. There's no punchline. It's just a normal day in Australia. Number five, birds. There's a variety of seabirds that fly over ocean waters. Some dive down to scoop up and gobble down unlucky fish. But just like birds touch down into the water to find something to eat, sometimes sharks jump out of the water to feed on unlucky birds. Ah, the circle of life. Birds are one of sharks' favorite little snacks. Impressively, they'll launch themselves like a missile right out of the water and into the air, snatch a bird, and then slam it back down so hard that if it didn't die from the grab of sharp rows of teeth, the body slam will definitely kill them. Tiger sharks are legendary for doing this, and great whites do it too. Many bird species have been found inside the bellies of sharks, including yellow-billed cuckoos, morning doves, wood thrushes, and Bahama yellowthroats. The Gulf of Mexico is rather infamous for having sharksy birds. Tiger sharks even adapted to know the areas the birds will go to so that they can pick them off more easily. What song do sharks sing while they hunt for food? Don't stop bleeding. Number four, polar bear. Polar bears are one of the cutest and most powerful things you'll find around the Arctic waters. And while they are something to behold, they are also something to fear. Unless you're a shark, apparently. In 2008, scientists were puzzled over the discovery of young polar bear remains in the stomach of a Greenland shark, a species that thrives in the cold waters of the far north. The find suggests that the polar bear may have a serious challenger to its place at the top of the Arctic food chain. Until now, only killer whales were thought to offer a real threat. So to find a polar bear in the belly of this shark was a bit peculiar. The two prevailing theories about how this shark got the bear is that the polar bear was not old enough to put up much of a fight 
bite, or it ate the dead carcass of a young polar bear, which meant the shark wouldn't have had to put in much effort to get the meal. Either way, an odd picnic for Mr. Shark. Got another joke for you. What did the hammerhead shark say to his drinking buddies? I'm hammered. Number three, venomous snakes. Down under again in Australia, there is a place known as Shark Bay, which has a name which is pretty self-explanatory. One shouldn't be deceived by its simple title though. Sharks aren't the only deadly creatures lurking in Shark Bay. There are also venomous snakes with enough toxins to kill a full-grown man. But in a twist, those snakes are prey to various tiger sharks that happen to roam about that area. But if they're venomous snakes, wouldn't that be risky for the sharks, you might be asking? The answer is no. It's not risky for a very basic reason. The tiger sharks are immune to the venom, and thus the snakes make for delicious grub. Number two, dolphins. The common knowledge about sharks, especially ones like the tiger shark, bull shark, hammerhead, and of course, the great white, is that they have no natural predators. The only thing close is the orca whales, and they occasionally clash. However, one animal that they are known not to tangle with in any circumstance are dolphins. Sharks are naturally wary of dolphins. Though we love dolphins and everyone wants to swim with them, they are not the nicest to sharks. They have a history of saving humans from shark attacks and ramming the sharks so hard full throttle that it kills the shark. However, while dolphins have been known to deter, attack, and even kill sharks, the sharks will still eat the dolphins if the circumstances are right. They'll go and prey on some of the smaller species, and dolphins can't always defend themselves strongly enough. If they aren't successful, various tiger sharks and more have been known to have whole dolphin remains within them. Number one, other sharks. It may surprise you that sharks are known to be cannibals, but it's true. In fact, when it comes to ones like the tiger shark, they're very open-minded to not just eating sharks, but eating them on the regular. This isn't speculation. There have been instances of sharks being captured on film eating other sharks, even in secluded areas like an aquarium. Not all shark species do this, but to some, it's just a natural part of their eating schedule. One of the ancient ancestors of the shark, the Megalodon, was also known to be a cannibal because it needed to eat two tons of food a day to sustain itself, and that meant eating other Megalodons. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these crazy things swallowed by sharks? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!